morning everybody hi and welcome to our style and color patio series we are super pumped this morning to be having a conversation about body positivity curvy and plus size fashion and we have three beauties with us this morning we have via and we have Mackendra and we have Jillian who are, all, who are all advocates for body positivity. So let's get right into it. Uh, v, I'll start with you and just what body positivity means to you. <laughs> okay, um, for me, I think it's just being comfortable in my own skin, um, which feels super radical given like my whole life I've been told otherwise sure for like um you know from people who i know personally from from like society yeah you know, yeah it's um it's kind of like a lot to be able to be like i just don't care anymore like just what matters is how i feel yeah and to me that's like it doesn't have to be where i'm like i love myself all the time or i think i'm beautiful or blah 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 it's mostly just like not not totally. <laughs> yeah, it seems yeah. like this, it almost seems like when you say it out loud, just that you accept yourself that it that would be not easy, but then no. it's a, such a loaded statement because there are so many factors Absolutely. outside of yeah. the way that you could think that obviously affect how we do end up feeling about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Mackendra, yeah. what about you? I think it just is about being worthy to exist in the yeah. world. Like so much of society will tell you like you have to change and you have to look a certain way and you have to kind of act a certain way and sure if you want to follow that that's okay like right that's fine but I don't necessarily need to fit into that mold all the time and just feeling like I am worthy of dressing the way I want to dress of looking the way I want to look saying the things I want to say doing the things I want to do and that has no relation to how I look yeah, like that is such and a that point. that's whether you are fat, whether you are thin, whether you are like roly poly, whatever. <laughs> like, you, what you want to do in life is not related yes, to how that's you look. such a good. Point. So it's just you're worthy of living a life. Yes, I think that's actually been uh, like an added layer to what a lot of advocates and influencers are saying about body positivity is the added layer of like, that you are worthy, yeah. no matter what. Yeah. And that the way you look physically, as you just said, has no bearing on what you can do intellectually, yep. what you can do with your life, how you want to be styled, how you like anything, any other life choices that you're choosing are completely unrelated. Yeah. And that's new and too. That like, yes, very I, new. So, I mean, it's kind of like mental gymnastics. Like, and I still do it every day. It's like, okay, well, I have to compensate by being smarter or better at my job right. or looking a certain way or being a certain personality because I have this like hindrance oh my god of being plus size well no like right. it's actually like a really great thing like look at me look at me go and also I'm smart and I'm totally. like I have a good personality and I'm good yeah. at my job and so it's it it they don't relate like and so much of your life tells you that it does yes so. and that they're so related mm -hmm. absolutely Jillian what about you I mean, I echo everything these lovely ladies say. Um, I think in terms of my personal relationship, it's largely just about like embracing my body, but also recognizing that I'm more than my body. Yes. That this is like yes, what yes, I have yes. to go through my life, right? Yep. But it's also like, I'm a soul beyond like, yes. this whole form. Yes. But I also think on kind of a structural level, like the body positivity movement is founded by fat women, by women of color, by disabled women. Right. So I think to me, body positivity is actively trying to take down those barriers of a fatphobic society, of a racist society, of misogynistic, of all like these forms of structural oppression. They're all fighting against the Yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's so, yeah. so, so, yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think just echoing what you all said is that it is the removal. And I think maybe even for me personally, that was the most difficult, and still is the most difficult part, is that you, is that you feel like you have to prove yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Always. And I think no matter what size you may be or how you're perceived in society or how you perceive yourself in your own mind, there is still that barrier of that it is first and foremost how you put yourself out into the world and yeah. how other people see you yeah. when it's not, clearly. Yeah. Yep. And I think the more people that can kind of get on board with that, um, the better. Yeah. Which kind of leads me to my next question is just how do you feel... Um, 
how do you feel society, do you feel that it's, the needle's moving forward, do you feel it's changing, do you feel that there's, you know, enough influence uh, or influencers and people advocating for body positivity, like where do you, do you know some of you, but where do you feel that that is? I feel like we have made significant strides, even I know just since I've been a teenager, like my options for clothing have expanded like so rapidly, and right. the conversation yeah. about body positivity and fat positivity have developed so rapidly. Um, but then you also have people who are like totally not on that train, have no really recognition of it. Like I still have plus size friends getting like cat called at the car is getting called like a fat bitch at the bar, right? Like there's still all of that happening. But it's alongside like this incredible growth where I think like, more people are becoming open minded. But I right. don't think we're yeah. kind of at a point yet where it's very like fully recognized in our yeah. society. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've, yes. And I feel like in particular, since mm, like even COVID. Like, there's just been this shift, particularly on TikTok, of, like, people... Love. Like I'm so there. Like, I'm it's so there. crazy. The amount of, like, esteem I get just from going on TikTok and watching people being like, this is what a... This weight looks like, or this is what a size 18 looks like. And I'm like, I've never seen that before. Right. Like, and the fact that people are celebrating what they look like online, and there's just more, like, of an openness, and not even just what they look like, about, like weird things that they do or like thoughts that they think like it's everything people are just being more open in general and I while I almost hate to say it like I think we do have social media and TikTok to thank at the same time I think it also hurts and hinders sure. a little bit right but there's no denying the fact that there's movement and there's growth just within like the past two three years especially I agree, yes. Because also on social media, you have the deepest of darkest trolls. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. cannot surface themselves oh. beyond the trolling. But like, and it, yeah. yeah. Under all of those videos, if you want to look, the comments are horrendous. Yeah. Yes. But the fact that people are like, I don't, I don't care anymore. Or the fact that there's amidst the bad comments, there's still comments of being like, thank you. Like, this is me. I agree. and Or you're beautiful. Or like, there's a whole slew of comments, not just bad ones anymore, which I feel like is a low bar. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is. It we're is. moving up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At least there's a bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like maybe even um, like not that long ago, there wasn't even a bar. Yeah. And Via, like, what do you think? Or do you see? I guess do you see a pattern? Um, do you think it's changed over the years? Like, how do you feel as far as like societal? Definitely. Like, do you remember like in those magazines where? they would like list all of these fashion rules do's and notes of like what fat people can wear and like yes. what will make you look good the so, like, apple body yeah type. oh my yeah. god like i remember there was like a time in my life where literally every single piece of clothing i had was just black like straight up black i did i was i i hated fashion i hated clothing right. because i was never a I, I guess like i was never a lot i was so limited by like yeah. what we were told we could wear yeah. and so now I do have black. I'm wearing black right now, but I also have like loads of other things. So it's really fun. Yeah. Um, I think like in terms of uh, the movement itself, I'm we're seeing like lots of um, we're seeing a lot of um, kind of fashion lines or fashion labels expanding their sizing yes. to be more inclusive. And it's not even like a plus size section. It's just they just do sizes like up to yes, yes, revolutionary. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that is revolutionary. Yes. yes. But I think like for places like here for PPI, it's like it's not there yet. It's still I still find it's still very inaccessible. Yeah. Right. Um, but it's getting there, and it's it's great. Like I, and like to echo what you were saying about social media over COVID, I never knew there were so many plus size content. Right. Like, I yeah. didn't know. And so, like, with COVID, that's when I was, I kind of decided, like, I'm just going to go follow all these people that make me feel so good about myself, yes. you know? And and I think, and it's gotten me, like, I mean, it's gotten me here, you know? Yeah. Like, I like I never used to talk about this, these things before. Right. But now I feel so comfortable yeah. being okay with, like, just being open, just being talking, Absolutely. talking about it. Absolutely. And I... Absolutely. I, I love, I mean, like for me, one of the hugest advocates and who's really been a game changer in the whole movement is Lizzo. Yeah. And like Lizzo <laughs> making, yes. like making fashion Absolutely. exactly yep. as she sees what it is. Absolutely. And finally, like having, you know, a, a, a fat black woman yep. Yep. who can be an advocate for yep. so many people. And I love the fact that like Lizzo does not care. She's like, I'm fashion, period. 
Yeah. yeah. You Done. deal with what you have yep. to deal yeah. with. Yep. And I think the other huge misconception is that people assume that a plus size person cannot be healthy. I or know. that a curvy person cannot be yeah. healthy. That's a have huge one. seen her in concert? Right? <laughs> Jumping around and then she plays the flute and then she goes back to sleep. Right? Like, <laughs> all of you it. Can't tell me she's not healthy. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's another huge that misconception that that we have to keep keep pushing. Well, we have to push on all of it. But that one big time is that you can be healthy at so many different variations yeah. of body types, and it just Absolutely. yeah. That one for me is just so. And and what healthy is to somebody. Is completely different yeah oh, it yeah. might be completely irrelevant to what it is to somebody else yep. yeah. absolutely I think that's another really yeah. big big point that we need to just mm -hmm. keep pushing forward and what do you think um, for all of you I'll ask you individually uh, just any habits or any any uh, ideas that you think society needs or that we need to be able to keep pushing the needle forward because obviously I guess like if my thought is that like, we want to get to a point where not that we don't want to have this conversation, yeah. right. but that we want to have this conversation yep. about something else mm -hmm. and just be able to exist in the body that we live in yep. without having to, as you say, like the, the clothing line that doesn't like say, you know, petite, whatever you say, normal, curvy or plus, that, that the sizes are just there. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything like, what, what do you think are other habits or things that need to happen to get us to that point? Via? I think we just, I guess, as a society, need to stop asking each other, or like stop commenting on each other's bodies. Um, when, We're here! Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just not relevant. It's not, like, it's not you relevant. don't know what people are going through. You don't know what people's relationships are with their bodies. You don't know, like, you know, like, everyone is going on, with, has their own journey with, um, with how they love their body and what their relationship is with their body. So I feel like we just need to like stop voluntarily offering comments about it. And like when when I used to live in the Philippines, it would be constant, like constantly like um, comments about whether I was like sexy or like getting bigger or you know right. all the time. But like when I got here, not that it's like we're perfectly like like great here it's more like so people stop people don't do it as much here right. i find personally and so i think that was, that's what helped me come out of my shell when people stop making it like the most important thing about you then i feel like we can all find that like kind of like find that courage to right. be just ourselves and to just exist yes. as we are um so i think that's what <laughs> i love it i think that's what we can stop doing totally yeah Kendra? Um, last summer when um, all of the protests and stuff were going on um, after the incident with George Floyd, um, there was this huge movement um, that I had to say like, okay, I need to start doing this, is like follow people that don't look like you. Um, and so we all did that last summer and we need to keep doing that now. Yes. Um, and I think that pertains to different sizes of people as well totally not just agree. women but also men and uh like it's hard like via was talking earlier how your esteem went up when you started following content creators who were plus size yes i also had no idea that there were so many people That's and so many. like it's great. <laughs> lizzo but also like Halifax is Alicia McCarthy. Yes. Like, yes. I adore her. <laughs> Alicia, we love you. That girl got me in a crop top. I love you. Like, totally. So, and I think it's important, like, it's important for me to follow people that look like me, but it's important for people that don't look like me to follow people that look like me. Yes, um, absolutely. Because it, it's changing my perspective, which is one thing, but it also needs to change in the perspective of everyone's minds. Yeah. And it's drastically helped me I'm sure it's helped you guys and so I think it that's just seeing people exist in the world who don't look like you and since our heads are always down anyway into our phones and yep. on our laptops seeing people exist there that don't look like you yes. is going to just whether you need for it to happen or not it's just going to start changing the way you think yeah and the way that you look at people and the way that you understand things just like that works for people of color and people who have disabilities it changes the way you see things because you're seeing things from a different perspective do that with people of different sizes as well absolutely so, yeah absolutely so. i totally agree with that and just on another uh, little note anybody who as far as following people 100 percent hiring people 
and yes, people who yeah. are in the position to be able to do that, hiring people that do not look like you, <laughs> I adopted that um, mindset like three years ago and it's been like life changing. Yeah. Just not having that, just not being ignorant to not have that perspective before um, and just opening up to that. Joe, what about you? I think like on a very related note, even within like the plus size community, for example, I think there is still kind of like an idolized body type. Um, like right. the, like plus size models, right? Like Ashley, Ashley Graham, Graham. Bria Majors. Yes. Like yes, yes, gorgeous, yes. gorgeous women and I follow them and I love their content, but it's also like flat tummies, big boobs, big, big butt, um, big yes. bodies, right? Right, right, right. And like Tessa Holiday. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's like, look at the women who are like, or any of gender, like people that are like size 24 and up. Yep. Like look at people that maybe have like small thighs, small boobs, big tummy, right? Like, right. Because that really does impact like how you're even viewed within the plus size community and sure. even within body positive spaces. Right. So I think, yeah, just like finding the people that are like the most marginalized within the body positive community movement and make sure that we're really uplifting them as well. And yes. that they have the same opportunities that like plus size women that are like maybe on the smaller end of the spectrum would have. Right. And just like on that note too, I, um, I follow a girl online and the other day she posted a video or a picture of her in a bikini and she looked different than I would have expected her to look. Better not worse, just different, different. a different shaped body. And I didn't know that because just the way she dresses and she's online, I don't know her, but I think society in general has to stop telling women, kind of like you were talking about earlier, to stop dressing to hide the things that you don't want to show. Like, 100%, 100%. I can wear horizontal stripes if I damn well choose to wear horizontal yes. stripes. And yes. it doesn't matter if it makes yes. my belly look bigger or my butt look bigger. Go ahead. Yes. Or, yeah, exactly. Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. Stop telling us to hide those parts because that's still... Like, while you may think it's, like, a fashion forward or a fashion movement, like, you want to feel good in the clothes, but just because you feel good doesn't mean it's hiding the parts of you. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Does that oh, make sense? 100%. Like, I think we're just bad for that. I'm bad for that myself. Like, totally. I, it's my, it's mental gymnastics. Yes. Um, I still have a lot of unlearning yeah. around yeah. that, too. Camouflaging, hiding, um... Spanx. Spanx. Yes. yes. 100%. <laughs> oh, yes. God. Don't put me in those. <laughs> the brain. Uh, exactly. Yeah. It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. We're done. That's our signal. We're done. Take care.